Hi everyone, it's Dr. Taya here. I just wanted to say hello again and talk about one topic that's come to some attention recently, which is telemedicine and virtual care. I'm talking to you in 2020, in, in June of 2020, and we're in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic, and that has caused the need for social distancing. And as such, people have avoided coming into clinics or, or to the hospital for, for routine care. I wanna talk about the importance of not delaying your care and I wanna talk about the way that we can achieve that easily, simply, and safely. Um, most importantly, I just wanna tell you, don't delay your healthcare. Healthcare is very important. It's just as important today as it was the day before coronavirus. Um, the disease processes that are taking place uh, with either new diseases or progression of diseases are still going on. And it's important that you see your doctor periodically for new cases or for routine follow-up to take the, the best care of your health. Um, Unfortunately, some conditions are time sensitive, meaning that conditions worsen with time and, and people can suffer along with, with the, uh, with, as time goes on and the disease can become more difficult to treat and cause more harm. On top of that, symptoms can overlap. So it's, it takes the doctor to sort out whether a symptom is something that requires immediate attention or if it's something that can wait. So definitely don't delay seeing your doctor as necessary for both new conditions or for follow-up of, of your existing conditions. The good news is that with telemedicine or, or virtual care, it is quite easy. We can walk anyone through it and uh, you can achieve very much what we can achieve in the clinic over a virtual video visit. It allows for a personalized discussion of your health care. It's uh, uh, covered by insurance just like a clinic visit. So I want to talk to you about the different options that, that I use and, and what I found and, and, and talk to you about the different steps. Um, that, that, that we're using. This is an evolving subject. There are going to be new apps and new processes. But let's talk about what we've been using so far. My favorite is the Doximity system. And the good news about it is you don't need to have an account and you don't need to get an app. Basically, uh, I call you on the phone. I tell you I'm going to send you a text message. You open up the text message and then we're having a nice video visit uh, on your browser. It works with most recent smartphones, both Android or iPhone, and it works quite well. The other option uh, is because so many people have Apple is the FaceTime. Um, I'm not particularly an Apple user, so this pains me to say it, but FaceTime works quite well. If you have uh, 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 an Apple system, I can call you on my iPad and we can have a, a conversation. It works nearly flawlessly. Another option is the Google Meet. This is something that's recently been integrated into uh, Gmail. So if you have uh, a web, uh, I'm sorry, if you have a laptop with a webcam on, we can use that pretty easily. Um, they also make uh, apps for it for both Android and the iPhone. The nice thing about Google Meet is I can share my screen. Those of you who have seen me in the office know I like to sketch uh, drawings to help explain. Um, this way I can show you some drawings uh, uh, or, or some graphics to help explain a point. Um, on top of that, you can add family members if we can add other people uh, to it. So if you have a family member that's not here or, or in the house with you and you want them to be part of the clinic visit, uh, with your permission, we can add them uh, and we can talk together. Uh, there's another app called Google Duo, which uh, you need to, to uh, get an app for, for either uh, Apple or Android. The good thing about that is it works if you have a Gmail account, so, and that's relatively easy. So in general, this is really easy to do. Don't delay your care, don't delay your health care, don't be intimidated. What I personally do is I call every single one of my patients at the time of our visit and I walk you through which, uh, others, which, which system we're gonna use. I ask you what device you have and, and I walk you through it and it works quite well. And we can achieve a majority of what we can achieve in the clinic virtually uh, with these virtual visits. Um, there are certain things we can't do. I can't take your blood pressure over the, the visit, so if you could take your blood pressure ahead of time. Um, on top of that, if you use uh, a Cardia or an Apple Watch for heart rhythm, you can have that handy. Um, all of our pacemaker or ICD patients, we're going to get remote interrogation, so we'll have a sense of, the, of what your device is doing as well. But it is quite easy, so don't be intimidated. Don't delay your care. Um, trust me, I'll, I'll call you. I'll walk you right through it. So I hope everyone is staying safe and continues to stay safe. And I hope to see you either in person or, or virtually quite soon. Just give us a call if you have any questions.